Hey, what's going on guys? Another beer review. This one, uh, something I'm looking forward to trying. First of all, I've never tried a uh, dogfish head uh, beer at all, and there's uh, a bunch of them. It's a pretty well-known brewery or company. Um, this one is 90 minute uh, Imperial IPA. Now they have a 60 minute, they have a 75 minute, they have a 90 minute, and then they have the 120 minute. I think the 75 minute is a mixture between the 60 and the 90. And the 120 minute is the one I was really, really looking for. Um, I don't think it's it's actually sold in certain states because it's very alcoholic. It's uh, 18 to 20% ABV for one beer. In fact, it's not even recommended that you finish a bottle by yourself. You're supposed to share it with someone. Um, it's a very sought after beer. It only comes out, I think, twice a year. And it usually sells out right away. Now, I've, I've done a, a pretty good effort in trying to find it here, and I cannot find it. And so I got to look abroad. Um, but I would love to try that sometime. It's its own. It's on its own level. But it's actually weird because Pennsylvania has the weird beer law or beer laws. They have the weird alcohol laws where spirits are sold by a state-run store and beer is sold at a beer store only for beer. But because it's such a high percent beer, it's almost like a spirit. So where is it? You know, it's beer, so it can't be sold at the wine and spirit store. But it's too high alcohol to be still uh, sold at the beer store. I don't know. It's weird. I think they sell them at you know one one bottle, um, you know, at a time. They don't sell them in packs or anything because it's so strong. But anyway, uh, 90 minute Imperial. This was in a four pack, if I am not mistaken, and uh, seems really interesting. Let me read the bottle to you. It says. What you have here is an Imperial Indian Pale Ale um, featuring a single constant 90 minute hop addition. It's balanced by a ridiculous amount of English two row barley. Then we hop dry it in every tank. And I believe they do it for 90 minutes. That's why it's called 90 minute. It also happens to be 9% alcohol. It's very high in alcohol for beer. And actually anything over 8% could be aged. So you could age this. And I'm actually aging another one of this, uh, another bottle to see what it tastes like you know, a year from now, if I can you know, hold off that long, see what it's like. Um, what else do I want to say about this? Uh, IPAs, the reason I got this, first of all, and I got a bunch of other IPAs to try because I tried Hop Explosion and I realized I really like IPAs. It's a totally different beer for a totally different mood, pretty much. Um, they're very pungent, they're extremely bitter because of the hops. Um, I like them. Uh, I'm a big fan of IPAs now. I didn't really know much about hops before and now actually having tried the Hop Explosion, I fell in love with it. it. Just the piney notes and you know the, the the grapefruit that was coming through, really, really just strong punch in the face. Um, uh, my dad tried it; he didn't like it. He thought it was very, he thought it was like skunky beer. I'm like, you know, it's supposed to be that that strong and, and bitter and stuff. And but I love it. I'm a huge fan. So, and having looked up other recommended uh, IPAs, of course, Dogfish Head came up. They're all very good. This one is supposed to be one of the best. Uh, as far as what's available. The 120 is kind of like the holy grail for IPA lovers, but apparently that one actually is sweet. There's so much alcohol in it and, you know, unfermented sugars and it ends up being a lot sweeter. But anyway, maybe we'll try that in the future if I can get a hold of one. So this one, IPA, standing for Indian Pale Ale, and I'm not a beer expert, but basically the, the very short version of the story is way back when, uh, by ship, they were trying to transport um, beer to uh, India, I think Russia too and some other countries and they, it kept going bad on them so they you know someone came up with the idea of adding a bunch more hops and a lot more alcohol and it made the trip in the, that extreme heat they weren't used to those uh, hot temperatures so that's where you know thus IPAs were born Indian pale ales so usually they're gonna be higher in uh, in alcohol content you know the ABV is usually higher I think it's anywhere from like six to eight or something usually this is a, a particularly high one um, and uh, it's also extremely pungent and bitter from all that hops. So 9%, uh, it's also 90 IBUs. IBU is a, the International Bitterness Units. It's basically how they measure how much hops in beer. So people who like IPAs and they like hops a lot, they look for higher IB, uh, IBUs. And that 120 minute, I believe, has 120 IBUs too. So anyway, here we go. 9% really strong IPA from uh, Dogfish Head. So. Don't know what to expect. Like I said, the only IP I had thus far was the one from Hop, Ex or the one called Hop Explosion. Oh yeah, it's got that same, just in your face hop smell. Very uh, bright and like grapefruit. Um, maybe a little bit of like mango, you know, like tropical fruits. 
but citrus too, mostly citrus, maybe a little bit of tropical, tropical fruits like uh, underlining it. Uh, all right. So here we go. Beautiful color, really golden. Um, absolutely beautiful beer. Crystal clear, no fog. In fact, you see my face right through there. Um, I guess a one finger head. <sighs> mm, I've grown quite accustomed. All right, don't get me wrong. I love dark beer. I love porters. Um, I love the stouts. I love so many of those, but for like a, a meteor desserty type beer, this is completely different. I like this a lot. It's other total different ends of the spectrum. Uh, spectrum. Usually I like very dark malty beers, you know, toasted malt, um, chocolatey, coffee, you know, that kind of spectrum of beer. This is on the other end, super bright, in your face, extremely strong, extremely hoppy, usually low in malt. Uh, so it's, it, it is completely, they're different. They're, the, you know, black and white, but I happen to like both. So anyway, here we go. Mmm. Wow. That's certainly different from the uh, hop explosion. And I know why. Alright, first of all, you get the, uh, I guess, you know, what's considered a traditional IPA flavor. Once again, the same thing. Really bright, strong grapefruit. Citrus rind, uh, uh, a very high bitterness uh, on your tongue. It's all around the mouth. It kind of lingers for a while. Um, you get kind of like a piney uh, flavor. That's what I really liked about the other one too. They basically, they, they smell and taste kind of like pot in a lot of different ways. And, and you know, hops are very closely related uh, to cannabis. Um, it doesn't give you the same effect, but the flavors and the scents are very close. Um, What's different though with this one, with the other one, is first of all, I, I you can feel the alcohol. Um, I feel it. I feel the warmth of the higher, you know, ABV, and I taste a little bit of that. Just, just you know, alcohol flavor as opposed to you know some beers you don't really taste it much. It's in here for me anyway. But what I like about this one is that I also taste the malt. So I got all that IPA stuff that I, I've grown accustomed to now and really like. But the other one didn't have any malt at all, really. And this one has that malt flavor, and it's also a little bit on the sweeter side. And I think, again, that's due to the uh, unfermented sugars that are added to this during the process, so it ends up being a little bit uh, sweeter. The higher the alcohol content, usually the sweeter it's going to be. Just because, again, they have to add a lot more sugar for fermentation, but there's also more sugar left over that was not fermented, you know, hence just sweetness. So, I like this one a lot. Uh, it is expensive. Um, I believe it was eleven ninety nine for a four pack. Could be better than you, know, you. You're paying in your area. It could be worse. I don't know. It just depends on where you live. Um, I'm fan of this though. This is really good. The hop explosion is cheaper. So if I'm in the mood for like an IPA, of course that that would be a uh, a much uh, cheaper option for me. Um, I'm definitely getting something different out of this one though. So. To me, this would be a special occasion uh, beer. You know, I'm getting with some some old friends, or you know, going somewhere, you know, to some kind of a gathering, family get together, you know, event party, um, a special occasion thing. Not something I would treat my treat myself to all the time. So far, I have to base all other IPAs off of my first experience. I loved it so much, and that one, even though I like this one more than the Hop Explosion, the price difference. Is not worth it for like um, just an average thing. It'd be a special thing. It's definitely a special occasion beer for me, but really, really cool. So I'm gonna enjoy this for a little while because you know, it's definitely a sipper, not something you want to chug. You want to really enjoy the flavor and, and, and sip on it. Uh, and I'll get back with you when I'm all done. All right, there it is. Last sip. Well, I like this one a lot. Um, what I get with this one. It's a lot of in-depth uh, flavor. It's it's one of the best IPAs according to you know beer people. 
all over. It's been in magazines as being the best IPA in America. You know, it's been on a lot of different forums as being, you know, the utmost best, more available uh, IPA. Uh, my first experience with uh, Dogfish Head has been really, really good. I'm very interested in trying their other ones. I have one bottle of the 60 Minute. I want to see how that compares. But I have to say, I really, really like this a lot. Um, it's everything I, you know, there's tons and tons of hops. And that's, you know, that's the basis of it, is, is that you're going to get all this hoppiness from there. And it's definitely there. And with the hoppiness, you get the, the grapefruit, maybe a little bit of tropical fruit, maybe a little pineapple or mango. Very, very subtle, though. Mostly citrus, mostly grapefruit. You get pine sap, pine cones, pine needle, you know. Almost like that pine needle tea, if you ever made that before, that's definitely there. Excuse me. Um, let's see. With this, though, what made this one different to me is two. there's two major things that stood out. First of all is it was a little bit sweeter than the, uh, the Hop Explosion, which is my first experience with IPAs. And there was a malt flavor there. The malt came through. Um, I want, I'm very curious now to try other IPAs and see if there is more of a maltiness there. Uh, very distinct malt. Um, really good. So a little bit on the sweeter side. Not incredibly sweet, but a little sweet. Um, the bitterness, for me, didn't linger as long either. Maybe it had something to do with the sweetness. But uh, highly, highly recommended to try. As I said before, uh, for me it's definitely, it's more expensive, so it's more of a special occasion type thing. Uh, not something I would have all the time, you know, first of all, because financially it's expensive. And uh, two, it's, it's a lot. It's a big, bold beer. So it's not something I'd have all the time. But uh, fantastic. Tons of flavor. Really great representation, I think, of an IPA thus far. Um, you know, I'm no expert, but the experts basically say this is really, really good. So you can't argue with that. I want to see what all the hype was about. And I get it. Definitely warm. <laughs> and warm again, 9% ABV. I feel it. My face is warm. My body is warm. Um, you, you feel it coming on. All right. So it can sneak up on you. Even though there's a bitterness there, it, it's very smooth. It's very drinkable. So just be careful. You can, you can definitely go through these and all of a sudden find yourself to be, you know, passed out somewhere. So just, you know, drink responsibly and be safe. Don't endanger other people when you're drinking. So that's all. Really like this. The 90 minute was awesome. I'm very much on the hunt for the 120 minute. I really don't think it's available in Pennsylvania though. Um, I talked to two different people who said that uh, they've never seen it and they own beer stores and they never even heard of it. So I don't know what, what that means. Maybe they're only talking to their suppliers about what they're actually getting. But regardless of the fact, I'm on the hunt and I will eventually get that IPA Holy Grail. Dogfish Head 120 minute. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.